Hey guys, how are you? Mike Rowe here. Today, I'm going to attempt to surprise two women on TV and make them cry. Uh, with a little help from my old buddy Chuck, the women in question are Victoria and Carlin. They each applied for and received a work ethic scholarship from my foundation. They didn't know each other, but then they met, and then something really cool happened. Check it out. Victoria Slight. Take one. My name is Victoria Knight, and I am, oh my God. My name is Carlin McClelland. Look at me. Damn it, Chuck. Work ethic scholarship recipient. Oh my goodness. Not only are Carlin and Victoria work ethic scholarship recipients, they also went to the same construction class here at SMC. Today, they're headed back to check in with their mentor. Larry, look who's here. Yoda! You brought me cookies. I am Larry Wilson. I am the chair of the School of Advanced Technologies, and I'm the lead instructor for the Construction Trades Green Technology Program. Give me the cookies. Come on. <laughs> you got my hug, now oh, I get yeah. my cookies. Yep, yep. I had Carlin and Victoria in the same class together. They were the leaders. We've got pictures to show you. Man, we need some structural engineering advice, dude. Where's the pictures? My first impression of Carlin was she was on fire. She wanted to know everything that was going on. You know I made sure of that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Victoria wants to do it all and she will succeed no matter what it is, no matter what the project is, she is going to succeed in that project. I signed up for the class and I was ghost white, shaking, coming in here, like, oh my God, I'm gonna be the only woman in this class. And then she walked in and then next thing you know, like four other girls walked in and mm -hmm. I was like, man, this is cool, this is cool. So where were you sitting? I was sitting here and then she walked in and walked around and just popped a seat right there. It was just like, hi, I'm Carlin. I introduced myself too, why we, ended up being here. Hers was to fix up her house and mine was just to find what I wanted to do with my life. And, and, and did you find it? I 100% uh, found it and more. I mean, can you imagine that day when you walked in and said, hi, I'm Carlin, that you could be here oh, these years that. later? Never. No. This is a career. I had some free time and wanted to pursue a hobby. And your hobby got out of my hand. My hobby got out of hand. <laughs> now, these ladies are their own bosses working together to remodel a house. How cool is that? So. This is the house. Tell me about the house. Okay, well, this house was built in 1900. It is the home of Eric and Carrie Jansen. Um, they want to live in the house eventually, but for right now, uh, they're gonna go ahead and rent this out, but we gotta get it livable for them. I was excited to hire a female contractor in part because I'm excited to be learning more about this and she's been really supportive of that. And also because I have a 10 year old daughter and I want her to be able to see that women can do anything that they want to do. I think that the best way to do that is to provide role models in every way that we can. Uh, one of the things that we are gonna be doing is uh, widening this doorway. When you're walking in, you're gonna have more of a natural flow coming through. Well, once you got this job, you called Victoria immediately. Mm -hmm. Why? We probably bonded more mm -hmm. individually, the, the two of us, than any other people in the class. Our mindset, 100% our mindset. So what are we gonna do first here in the house? Well, we are gonna go ahead and start um, busting into the plaster of this, this wall. Of this wall. Make this it this wall. Let's do it. When Chuck says let's do it, what he means is let's watch Victoria and Carlin knock down a wall. That's my cue. That's plenty of space. I think that's plenty. I'd okay. run it. Then let's cut right it right this. here at the stud. Someone say stud. Holy s***! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh crap! Oh my gosh! Go. Oh my gosh! It's a big day. Hold on! That's so cool. How are you? Oh my god! Mike. Victoria, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Victoria, <laughs> how are you? We don't hug where I come from. Oh, or we hug. We do oh hug. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we hug. How's it going? It's a mess. This is terrific. Did we surprise you? Genuinely? I mean, that, that, seemed, like, that, that seemed like we got you. Gosh. <laughs> okay, so we, <clears throat> we have two women working in the construction trades. Yes. Why did you enroll in, that, in this field in general? I just was a mom that wanted to learn how to fix her house and thought I could fix a few more along the way. Do you, do you want to hear my story of how I applied for it? I kind of do. I realize okay. you probably already told it to Chuck, but that's we're never okay. going to use any of that. Okay, you that's know great. Why? Because now I'm here. That's awesome. <laughs> that's perfect. Word. <laughs> I mean, right. What are we going to do? Perfect. Words. Yeah. I took out $30,000 in student loans for a master's degree that, believe it or not, I didn't finish. And I came home one day from class and I said, why in the hell did I spend all that money 
doing this when I was 22, 24 years old, when I could have gone to community college, I could have gone into the union, I could have done any one of these things, and I would be more fulfilled and less in debt than I am right now. You know what my husband said to me? What did he say to you? He said, you sound like Mike Rowe. <laughs> Of course, I did what every good wife does when her husband espouses something that I know nothing about. Mm -hmm. I went and Googled micro. Right. She had no idea. I had no idea. None whatsoever. It's devastating. How, how did you hear about MicroWorks? Or did you actually know me? I, I don't know if this is weird or not, but like, I, <laughs> I used to watch Dirty Jobs all the time. All the time. Like That's not weird. All the time. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Oh, um, stay tuned. My dad, coming. my dad travels for a living. Yeah. So he was gone a lot. And you resemble, like he resembles you a lot. The voice, the looks, the dirty job. He's always working, always working. And I would watch your shows and it would remind me of him when he's home. Oh, Jesus. Aww. <laughs> you never told me that. I'm so touched, honestly. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be a heartfelt, <laughs> earnest moment in the middle of a demo, but... Tell me about your life life. I, I live in Niles, Michigan. I have my own little house. Finally quit my job. I was building houses for Habitat for Humanity and working as a volunteer coordinator. And I thought that was just huge, but I wanted to do it in my own way. So I branched off, I started my own business, and right now I'm helping 60 different clients I've helped in my community. Good grief. And ultimately, I'm not, I'm not about the money. I want to help my people. But, you know, I've made four times as much in this short amount of time that I made in a year yeah. at my yeah. previous yeah. job. Yeah. People ask me all the time, what kind of people are you looking for at MicroWorks? The short answer is these, these type Bless of people. Bless your heart. Hey, we have to wrap it up because we're running out of media. So let's do the hug thing and I'll let you guys go back to work. Thank you for being here. You're my welcome. goodness. Thank you. You guys are why we do this. So back to work. Are we allowed to get a picture? I don't think so. No. We, we can't, can we, can we please get a picture? Okay, let's get a picture. My name is Carlin McClellan. My name is Victoria Knight, and I am a Work, work Ethics Scholarship recipient. <laughs> Told you I was gonna make him cry. For more true stories about more real people who learned a skill and mastered a trade, go to microworks.org. That's microworks.org. Having said all that, thank you very much.